Hey guys, this is Austin. Is this all the laptop that you need? Now that might sound like a weird question, but as someone who takes a look at a lot of weird and extreme tech, this is a lot more reasonable for most people. Now of course, big shout out to Acer for not only hooking us up with a laptop, but sponsoring this video, and let's take a look. So this is the Acer Aspire R15. Now inside, we get the power cable and some lovely cardboard packaging. Having trouble? Contact Acer first. Seems like perfectly reasonable advice that I can't make fun of. So this is the Aspire R15. I'm actually curious to see. I have actually not seen this in person yet. I like the sort of cross brush finished here. It looks pretty nice. But of course, this is a pretty beefy laptop. So inside we have a full 15.6 inch display. So what's cool is that this is a convertible. So you can use it in standard laptop mode. You have a solid trackpad and you also have a touchscreen, so you can scroll like that. But when you're ready, you can actually just flip the entire screen around and say, watch a video like this, or you can even flip it upside down and get tent mode. It's a pretty cool little setup, I've gotta say. Now yeah, this is a little bit big to be used as a standard tablet, but if you flip the screen all the way closed, what you get here is what's essentially a 15 inch tablet. This gives you a lot of flexibility. So say you want to use the laptop in a normal situation. You sit down, open it up, and you can use it just like any other laptop. You have the touch screen, you have your keyboard, as well as your trackpad. When it comes to watching video though, it's really helpful to be able to flip the screen around. And I think that's a big advantage of the laptop. Sure, if you want to use it as a standard laptop, by all means, go ahead. But having the flexibility to just flip the screen around, use it in pretty much any orientation you want is a huge advantage. This guy also has a pretty good screen. So it is a 15.6 inch display with a full 1080p resolution. And not only is it IPS, but it also has zero air gap, which especially helps with the viewing angles. Having a good screen is important, as this is a very media focused laptop. So you're going to be watching video, playing games. And while yes, it would be nice if it had a 4K screen, but that would add a lot to the price. I think this is a good compromise. So last time, Jay and I may or may not have uh, made a little bit of a mistake. Speakers are also not bad. So that's important. Well, sure, you're probably gonna to wanna to plug in headphones for video editing or gaming, but it's nice to be able to know that you have speakers that are going to work in pretty much any orientation. Of course, this guy's running Windows 10, but what's cool is, is that it's the signature edition. What that means is that there's no extra bloatware or junk that you have on the computer when you first get it. And if you're anything like me, you know that you usually have to spend 30 minutes getting rid of all the crap when you first get a brand new computer. But here, it's pretty much good to go out of the box. And since it is Windows 10, it means we have things like Cortana. So for example, I can ask it, Tell me an interesting fact. Venus is the only planet that rotates clockwise. You know what's cool about Cortana? I feel like Cortana actually has probably like the best voice of any of these sort of assistants. There's also support for Windows Hello, as well as a built-in fingerprint reader and the trackpad. So something as simple as just trying to drop my finger on it and we're immediately logged in. Now I feel like the more laptops I use that have fingerprint readers, the more I find that it's actually a really useful feature. Inside the Aspire R15, we have a Core i7 7500U, 12 gigabytes of memory, a 256 gigabyte SSD, as well as dedicated NVIDIA 940MX graphics. So with that KB Lake processor, not only are you getting the latest and greatest, but it also should be easy on battery. There's also support for Windows Hello, as well as a built-in fingerprint reader and the trackpad. So, so that is 4K ProRes footage playing back inside DaVinci Resolve. Now this is not going to be an amazing editing PC. For that, I really would want a quad core processor. But thanks to those NVIDIA graphics, you actually can do some fairly light editing. You can also do some gaming. So right now I'm playing Overwatch at 1080p on low settings. I'm getting a really respectable 60 to 70 frames per second. So I think that's one of the big advantages of the Aspire R15. Not only can you do stuff like gaming, but you can do video editing. It kind of will let you do a little bit of everything, especially because it has that SSD and plenty of memory. And while the graphics aren't amazing or gonna blow you away, they're totally not bad. You can definitely do a fair bit of gaming on this guy. So is this all the computer you need? For a lot of people, the answer is yeah. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and I will catch you in the next one.